Yo, I am feeling great today. I don't know about you guys, but today is a great, amazing, awesome, I don't know any other synonyms for good, good day. Earlier today, I made it to the skate park. I was able to skate for the first time in like four, five months. It's literally been forever, but I always have so much fun going out there to skate. I actually got to test out one of my new mounts for the Insta360. I start off with a bunch of shots. Right now I'm making my way to the quote unquote studio. There I am gonna show you what I carry with me on a daily basis, whether I'm going for an electric skateboard ride, gonna go skate at the skate park, or just going out on the town. I'm gonna show you everything I keep in my bag. But first we gotta get to the studio. Wait, I got yelled at from all grabbing last time. Yes, I film and make videos in a storage unit. Oh, it's dark, okay, cool. But no, I do not live in one because living in one would be illegal. <sighs> this place is a mess. Heavens to Betsy, it is incredibly hot outside. Okay, so I'm about to show you guys what's in my bag, what I carry with me on an everyday basis, whether I go skate or just go out and about. I didn't organize anything like that. I didn't throw any extra fluff in. It's just the way it is. This is what currently resides in my bag pretty much all the time. And the way you see it is the way you get it. Basically, it's just gonna be the real deal. It's just how my bag is. Here is my bag. Let's take a look at what I carry with me. We should probably start with what's hanging off the strap. A helmet, ride hard, ride safe. Helmet, no brainer, or else you'll be a no brainer. Hey! Yeah, I'm actually looking for a new helmet. If you guys have any recommendations, let me know. So far, it's been okay. All right, so I did go skateboarding earlier today, so on my bag is a skateboard. Right now I'm just riding a blank board, blank wheels thunder trucks. I don't skate too much anymore, so this setup works for me. For anyone wondering about the size, it's an 8.0. Oh, and the thing keeping the board to my bag is the deck hook. I featured this maybe a year or two ago. You just loop it around your bag, just like that. And over here, you can actually fit in trucks to keep your board on your bag. It's worked for me for, definitely for regular skateboards, non-electric long boards, and some of the lighter electric skateboards, it does work with pretty much any board, but the heavier the board, the heavier it's gonna be on your back. But I do like to keep the deck hook on my bag because it's also useful for travel, and it's just really convenient because I don't wanna have to carry my electric skateboard everywhere. I don't know if the deck hook is available to purchase anymore. I actually met the guys at a uh, cryptocurrency fair. I don't think they make them anymore, but if they do, I'll leave a link down below. The bag itself, is just some random bag that I found on Amazon. It's a really slim, just plain, classic bag. The reason why I bought it is because when I purchased it, I was actually doing a lot of air travel, and because it is so slim, it actually fits under the seat pretty well, and that's kind of the only reason why I bought it, other than the fact that it was just really plain, pretty simple bag. Not really a lot of pockets, but I don't carry too much, so that works for me. I'll actually go ahead and link everything featured in this video in the comment section down below if you're interested in any of the stuff. Over here in this pocket, I like to keep my Joby Gorillapod. This is what holds up my camera, which I'm currently using to film. It's the Canon M50, super small, compact, awesome vlog camera. I love it so much. Nice wide angle lens on there. You guys have probably seen these dozens and trillions of times. Not really gonna go into too much detail, 
Joe B. Gorilla Pod, really good for vlogging, really good for photography. Anything with a camera, Joe B. Gorilla Pod, you make the best one. I actually went and bought a couple of cheap ones before and I just had to keep coming back to Joe B. You guys make really good tripods. Also on there, the selfie stick for my Insta360 One X. You guys have, actually no, you don't see this in my videos because the Insta360 actually makes this selfie stick disappear. Yeah, I've been rocking with this one quite a bit. Really handy to have with the camera, works really well, folds up really small, extends really long. If you're gonna get an Insta360, you definitely gotta get the selfie stick. Over on this pocket, I keep a water bottle just a pretty standard aluminum double walled water bottle. Keeps drinks cold, keeps drinks hot. You just gotta have a water bottle with you to stay hydrated. It gets hot. <laughs> Little Illa Manila sticker on there because those guys are dope. So I'm gonna go ahead and just dig into this small pocket first. I honestly don't know how everything is organized in here. I literally just threw everything in. Okay, so I actually have a Bluetooth speaker with me, just a mini one because sometimes when I go on my rides, I like to play music, or you never know if you're just chilling with friends, you wanna have music playing out loud in the background. Bluetooth speaker is a really good option. This is one from V10, and Pau sent it over to me, and it's been working pretty good. Sometimes when I'm out grilling on the patio, play a little music, have some fun. Definitely a good idea to keep a mini one in your bag. Caribbeaner? <laughs> I have this carabiner on there just so I can hook it onto my strap and just let it hang down while I ride. Speaking of music and audio, I actually have Bluetooth headphones. The company Empow was super kind enough to send me these to just check out and I've had a pretty good time rocking with them. I do a lot of editing with these headphones and just listen to music on my phone. There is active noise canceling so when I go travel I'm actually gonna wear these. They're really lightweight and they're not very expensive either. 50 bucks I think and I think they're pretty good. I go ahead and just keep them in this pouch that they actually came in. Just for a little protection, you know? Alright, what else is in here? Remote for my board. Duh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Alright, so this is a chest mount for my Insta360. I actually received this quite a while ago, but I didn't use it until today. It's a little awkward when the Insta360 is here because it like sticks out this far and you're bending down to do tricks, but hopefully the footage turned out okay. I can definitely see myself wearing this next time I go to an amusement park for like a roller coaster or something like that because I feel like that can get some really, real cool shots. Alright, that's it for that little pocket. Let's go ahead and just dive into the big pocket. First thing I see, this is my charger for the electric skateboard that I'm riding right now, the Ownboard W2. Every time I go out with a board, I like to bring its charger because you never know if you need to charge up when the battery dies. And I also like to carry shades with me. I get a lot of questions about what these are. These are Snapchat spectacles. I can hit this button right here. And I am now recording you guys with my glasses. I thought I'd be using the recording feature on these a lot more, but I actually don't. At least they look kind of cool. And the cool thing about the case is that it actually charges the glasses. And also inside the glasses case is a little microfiber cloth to wipe things down with. Uh, breath mints. Definitely not a bad idea to keep breath mints with you, especially when your breath is kicking. Just gonna be pulling things out at random. You guys have seen this quite a bit because it's honestly my favorite camera to use right now. It's the Insta360. You just point it anywhere, shoot everything you want. I film a lot with this. Definitely recommend getting one if you do action or you just want something equivalent to a action camera, but something that is a bit easier to use because it captures literally everything. This is something I literally take with me every day. I love this thing so much. And if you guys haven't seen my audio tutorial for the Insta360, this is actually the microphone I set up. So all of my e-skate and chill videos, basically any 360 video where my audio is good, I am using this. It's just my old iPhone microphone and a wind muff. I carry a power bank with me because well, you guys know why you carry power banks. If you need a little bit of juice, charge up your phone, charge up your Insta360, charge up your remote, charge up your Bluetooth speaker. You get the idea. You charge things with this and you never know if you'll have an outlet nearby. So always gotta have a power bank. And to go along with that, I carry two short cables, one lightning and one micro USB. Between these two cables, I 
pretty much can charge anything that I carry with me. I've got a couple of spare batteries for my camera, one with the sticker World's Strongest Coffee, just so I can sort of label it and I know what's charged and what isn't. I have a spare micro SD card and the adapter so I can use it for either my big camera or my Insta360. I have no idea why this is in here, but I have a literal like button from a Facebook event that I went to. This is a power brick. It actually is for the iPad, so it's 30 watts instead of the normal iPhone charger. It charges things a lot faster, so that's why I carry this one in my backpack. And, ooh, this is cool. Inside here is my pocket knife. It's actually a knife that Nikki got me while she was in Alaska. I do a lot of things like unboxing, so having a knife with me to cut boxes open is way easier than using your keys. Check out some of the detail on the knife. It's got a bear from Alaska scooping up some fish. Nice little blade, nice and sharp, cut things. There's the town, who? Huna, Alaska. Hope I pronounced that right. And I just keep that in the little case it came with. And in here is a little flashlight. Always a good idea, especially if you're going night riding. I don't always have lights on my board. And outside of skating, like you can just use this to find things in the dark. That's why people use flashlights. I always seem to lose my skate lights, but I've never lost this cheapo little flashlight, so maybe it's good luck. You guys might be really into this. This is my Flatland 3D skate tool. It's really nice because it folds up into this super small size. But if you just take this off, take that off, you put that in there, you get a full size T-tool and a Phillips head and an Allen key. Full skate tool that folds into something about the size of chapstick. Nice handy little thing to make adjustments to your board on the fly. And it's all metal, so it's much stronger than those plastic T-tools that I have hundreds of, by the way. And uh, the last thing in my bag is actually a couple of clip bars. Why not have snacks with you? You never know when you're hungry out there, you're not gonna have a meal. Clip bars, man. And that's it. That's everything that is in my bag, my skate bag, my everyday carry bag, everything I keep on me on a daily basis. Now, I'm not saying that you should go out and buy what I have, but maybe it'll give you an idea of what you should carry with you when you go out and about, whether you go for a skate or just if there's something that you guys carry that I don't in my bag that I definitely need to, let me know in the comment section down below so I can go ahead and check that out. Everything I showed here will be linked down below. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button. And if you want to support the content that I make, my Patreon will be linked down below. Subscribe to be a part of the Stoke Squad. But until next time. What up, Ronnie? Stay Stoke from PG Utah. This place is a mess.